Welcome to another episode of Beats Halo, where today we're going to be, hopefully, bleeding the clutch and maybe even the brakes on the Till 240 today. Um, I've actually been trying to do this for the past, um, within the past 12 hours, I've spent maybe 5 hours total doing it. Um, the system is having a real hard time trying to bleed all the air out of the system, so I'm not sure there's something I'm doing wrong. I've never done this before, but I've looked up a lot of tutorials on how to do it. And I'm just, I'm not having any luck, so there is this one method that I found that we're going to try and hopefully that does something, so let's get to it. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. So what we're going to be working on under the engine bay is bleeding all the air out of our clutch master cylinder and the lines in there, so this little guy is filled with some fluid and in these lines are some air. I'm hoping there's no air in the clutch master cylinder itself. But we have to try to bleed all the air out of there because what essentially happens when you get air into your brake system or your clutch system is air is way more compressible than liquid is. So when you try to push the pedal to the floor to engage the clutch or even push the brakes to the floor to engage your brakes, all that air inside of those lines kind of squish down and compress. So nothing really happens, your calipers don't seize onto your rotors, not seize, but they don't grab onto your rotor so you can stop. And your clutch doesn't engage, um, either fully or at all, so it's really important that we get all the air out of here. Currently there is no resistance in the pedal at all, I'll give you guys a look and see what I'm talking about. The pedal just kind of flops to the floor, you know, it's usually it's supposed to stay up like this and have a lot of resistance to it, this is just way too easy to move back and forth. So. Definitely something we need to fix, and then the brakes are a little soft as well. Of course, doing bleed jobs are always easier when you have a friend with you, otherwise it could take way longer between having to go underneath the car and undo the bleed screws and go back in the car and make your adjustments. Luckily, I think I have a friend here who's going to help me out. Just kidding. I think he ran away. Nobody likes to do these jobs. They're a real pain in the butt, but, you know, they're necessary to get the car driving, so we got to do it. So throughout the process of bleeding your clutch system or your brake system, it's very important that you keep your reservoir filled with fluid. For our clutch system, we're using DOT3 brake fluid, and that's what we use for the brake system as well. So this is the same stuff, keeps it nice and simple. Now while you're keeping your reservoir filled, what's going to empty it is draining your bleeder valves underneath the car. So take a look under here. We have our clutch master cylinder, which is bolted to the transmission, which operates our clutch. This is what pushes the clutch fork in and out, and so we have to bleed the air out of the system through this um, bleeder valve here. So all we have to do is pump the pedal a few times, come under here, and have a tube attached to a bottle full of brake fluid, and bleed this valve by twisting it open, and that should let some all the air in the system out of the lines, however I haven't had much luck with that, so I've heard about this method where you can compress the slave cylinder and this kind of gives it a whole new dynamic so you can bleed the brakes much easier apparently, so I haven't tried it yet, but we'll give it a go and see if it works. Another thing that makes bleeding the clutch really difficult on 240s is this damper box here in the clutch system, so what this does is kind of reduces any vibrations you feel from the clutch, so it's you know, much more comfortable, but gives you maybe a bit more slop. Some people prefer to have it, some people prefer not to have it. We're going to take it out because this box likes to trap a lot of air, and it's really difficult to try to get all of that air out of the system, so you can bypass that by carefully bending your clutch line out of your damper box and straight into your slave cylinder. So I have my setup put together. I have a tube coming out the bleeder valve and into this bottle where we have some new brake fluid. Now I want to make sure that this end of the bottle is submerged in the brake fluid so that we don't get any air coming back in through. I have the slave cylinder compressed and it's staying in through this zip tie I have mounted here. Obviously a clamp's ideal, but if you don't have something, you know, you gotta get creative. So essentially what you have to do to bleed the system is go inside the car and pump the clutch pedal a few times. Then come out here and loosen the bleeder valve a little bit and that'll let any excess air come out through the system and into this bottle. After that air has come out, you tighten this bleeder valve up here and repeat the process. Now I've been attempting to bleed this system for the better part of four or five hours and I'm beginning to think that the master cylinder might just be bad. So luckily I know that Carol's was working when I crashed, so 
We're gonna pull Carol's master cylinder off and swap them out and hopefully that should solve our issue. <music> Instead of just taking off the clutch master cylinder, I'm going to be swapping over my old clutch line too because silly me rounded off the nut that goes into the clutch line. You know, when you don't have the proper tools, stuff like that happens, so get the proper tools, kids. Now all we have to do is hook the lines back up and start bleeding this thing. Alright, so things are looking pretty well for the Teal 240's clutch system. What I'm having is Desiree's help pushing the that? clutch pedal. It's my rust hole. No, no, no. This thing. Is that a wasp nest? It looks like it. Gross. I don't know. It's like... Oh, it's a walnut. Oh! Yeah. There's a walnut shoved in here. Yeah, I know. This car is dirty. It's been sitting can for I years. Can I peel this? Just, can we wait? Okay, well... I just, there's like a couple walnuts in there, so okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure there was a squirrel living between your like firewall and this thing here. We can do that, we can do that later. I think that would be fun. Okay. But, what, anyway, what I'm having Desiree do is she's wow. pushing the clutch pedal in repeatedly, um, maybe eight pumps, and then she leaves it at the bottom. And by doing so, the fluid fills in the lines, and so I go under and bleed the valve, so. All right, Desiree, go ahead and pump it a little bit. Good? Yep, now we're gonna go underneath and bleed it. Yeah, there's a cicada. I dislike bugs. You're in my way, bro. Move. All right, so we come over to our slave cylinder, bleed the bleed valve, let all the air come out. Then once it's done releasing all that air, we tighten it back down, and we repeat the process until all the air is out. All right, so our clutch is finally bled after grueling like 24 hours of working on this thing. Not 24 hours straight, but it's been a long time. Turns out the master cylinder was bad, so luckily Carol's was good. We replaced that, swapped them out, and everything seemed to be bleeding great. So we have a working clutch now. We have to move on to the brakes. So we couldn't bleed the brakes because the rear bleeder valves are seized to the calipers, so gotta find a way around that. One other thing that we did tonight was install our clutch pedal from Carol. Seems like we're taking everything from Carol because everything on this car is just... I'm just not impressed with it. What's happened with this pedal is the weld on it broke off, so the mounting bit is just not stable at all, so it moves around, gives you a lot of flexibility, and slop, and as you all know, I hate slop. So we weren't able to get the car registered on Tuesday like I hoped we would because we just ran out of time. It's a bummer, but we definitely don't want to rush things and get the car on the road when it's not supposed to be. We want to make sure all the safety precautions are taken and that things are running right before we um, get this thing on the road, so gotta be patient, I guess. I think next time we'll definitely bleed the brakes and then after that, bumpers on, side skirts, and then get this thing rolling, so. If you guys have anything you'd like to see or any comments or suggestions, please feel free to leave them down below. I'd love to hear you guys' feedback. If you aren't subscribed, make sure you hit that red button. I'd love to see you stick around for the build. If you got anything out of this video, hit the like button, and as always, I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.